Capricorn, you are up. Let's see where we're going. This reading is a weekly reading for Capricorn. Uh, all the other readings so far <laughs> have really been much further reaching than this week. But this is the week we're anchoring in this reading. So here we go. All right. Sometimes that happens. It's like, actually, no, this is a bigger picture reading. All right. Let's see what's going on. There's that new moon. We just had a new moon in Taurus. I've got the divinity under the vi divinity card underneath. I like that card. Uh, veiled. Water. Who's blocking their feelings? Oh, Scorpio. <laughs> Transformation. Someone's blocking their feelings. Someone's blocking your ability. You might be blocking your own ability to transform because of how you feel about it or your feelings of fill in the blank. Okay. Uh, some of you are just starting. This is a time of you shifting into recognizing your own divinity. We are all connected through one consciousness. We have a unitary consciousness on this planet. We are all pieces of that. That's why I can do a general reading for Capricorn and thousands of people resonate with it. That's proof. That's proof in my book. I mean, I've seen it now for seven years. It is blowing my mind that we are so connected that I can that I can channel into Capricorn energy and someone in Topeka and someone in Bahrain and someone in Ireland all resonate with this reading. OK, so that message is for somebody. And I feel like some of you are hiding your feelings about a person or a situation. And that is um, costing you right now. All right. So let's take a look at what wants to come through in the reading. Oh, yeah. World. There's High Priestess. There's the Consciousness. Three of Swords. Ooh, look at this. Ten of Swords and the Nine of Pentacles. Wow. You have come out the other side. Lovers. Four of Wands. This is so incredible. Okay. I feel like you choosing. Now, just work with me here. Okay. You choosing a solitary spiritual path is actively ending, ending patterns that have broken your heart in the past. You are, you are like, yep, I'm cool with it. I'm cool with it. If nobody ever shows up for me again, don't care. I'm sovereign. I am fully myself. I am completely, and guess what happens? Lovers, four of wands, chariot. Because of your self-confidence, that's what's going on under the surface right now that you are effectively banishing patterns that have broken your heart in the past. You're effectively banishing them and absorbing the lessons, transmuting the wisdom into self-confidence, self-esteem, self-esteem. That's, what, that's what's making you strong enough now. Okay, you might not have been strong enough Oh, wow. Okay, Capricorn, you may not have been strong enough to have the person of your dreams up until now because you haven't been willing to say my life is whole without them. That's the transformation. Wow. That's a lot. That's a lot. Look at you. There's Taurus, another earth sign. So that's a nice trining energy. The three of wands. Wow. Look at that. The devil. There's your Capricorn card. Magician, King of Cups, Wheel of Fortune, Five of Cups, Two of Cups, King of Swords, and the Four of Cups. It's This says to me, remember what I just said to you about having self-esteem enough to draw in a partner, the, right, the partner who is also healed, also on that level. Taurus and Capricorn here, your Capricorn card is the opportunity. And it really is about walking away from anything that is too constricting, that is too, um, that is a pattern from the past that hurt you. Now, here's the thing. This is the twist, plot twist. Capricorn, you are going to think, okay, that means I'm done with being hurt. I'm done with having if I am the most authentic I am and I am fully aligned with myself and I am whole and I am a part of divinity and I know all these things, 
It doesn't mean that you're not going to ever get your heart broken again. Because I feel like Capricorn, you might be trying to work your spiritual path in order to control never being hurt again. But that's not what love is. Love is about being vulnerable and open. We give someone else the power to destroy us. That's <laughs> that's true love. <laughs> we give someone else the power to destroy us. Hmm. We do. That's why choose judiciously. Okay. And choose based on inner growth, spiritual growth. Both of you have been really clobbered in the past. I feel like that's almost what you have in common. Initially with this person, you might be out there looking for commitment. You might be putting yourself, showing up. You're showing up as this Taurus energy of I am a keeper. You are. I am, um, I am wanting traditional connection. I'm showing up this way. And I'm putting it out there to the world. I'm like, I only want uh, something that's traditional and committed. And it's almost like the, the light and dark here. That mm, you might be showing up too much as someone who is, I'm going to take on everything for you. I'm going to make this work. Okay. I'm going to be the, the workhorse in this relationship. I'm going to you know, do everything I can. There's something about chaining yourself. You and another person are chaining yourself to this idea of traditional commitment, but act actively there's some kind of openness that needs to be aware. You need to be aware of there's a uh, Aquarius, which is kind of new wave. It's kind of new wave and you're opening yourself up to being, to having that self-confidence, right? To have this, once you let go of those old patterns of hurt and everything like that, you're like, okay, that means everything from now on is going to be perfect. And it's not what it means. It means you give someone the power to break your heart. And it's like, oh no, I'm not doing that. Okay. Well, that's where the work is because that's what true love is is being vulnerable enough. And I almost feel like the person that you're going toward, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Gemini, Sag, Aquarius, right? There's something about are you seeing are you truly seeing who they are or are you still tagged in some kind of fantasy or some kind of belief system or some kind of toxicity. Talk to me more about this devil card. What is this? What is this? I know this is Capricorn. I know it's your card and everything, but what is holding you back from getting you what you want? Six of cups, page of cups, queen of wands, and the hanged man. I feel like you're trying to change someone. I feel like you want a particular person, but you want them to be the kind of person you have in your head, not really who they are, who they actually are. You're seeing this person as somebody, maybe you've known them since high school or college or something like that, and you have this idea of who they are. That's, that's the thing that's blocking this from moving forward. You guys are chained to some kind of belief about each other, like high school sweethearts that never evolve, all right? Or something like that. You're seeing this person. You've got to see this person a different way to let go of those chains, to get yourself out of this stuck situation. Yes, I feel like this person is from childhood. They could have broken your heart a couple times. And you're trying to see them not as who they are, but as who you want them to be. Capricorn. You're trying to see them as who you want them to be. Strength. Two of swords. Sun. Two of wands. Your own internal 
sunlight, your own internal joy, your own internal power. It's like you've got to get back into yourself. You got to see this person more clearly. All right, you got to see this person more clearly. So let's use this what's the T deck. It's like what's going on underneath. Let's use a couple decks here. What's really going on for this person? Crying over you, sad, hurt, upset, running, groupie, cyber bully. All right, so this person is somebody who that feels very all over the place in terms of their emotions. And they, they are, they are somebody who, um, makes you feel good about yourself. They could be somebody who is stalking you. All right. There could be, you're not really seeing who this person is. You're not really seeing who this person is. This person is putting you on a pedestal, treating you like somebody not real. You could be doing that to them too not really truly seeing them. This person is running. They don't want you to see who they truly are. And I think you've, you've aligned with that. You've definitely aligned with that. Okay. So it's kind of like this person has been victimized, victimer, victimized, you both have had this kind of experience, victimizing or being a victim, uh, being a bully, being someone more powerful than my partner, someone a lot less powerful than my partner. It's mostly because you're not seeing them clearly. And they don't want you to. They don't want you to see them clearly. They don't want you to see them clearly. Okay, Cap. Betrayal. Deceit, backstab, traitor, not to be trusted. This person is not to be trusted. Remember that 10 of swords that we had over there? Not to be trusted. Bugaboo. I don't even know what that means. Burning evidence. Oh boy. Outdated, expired, old news. Okay, so it's possible. What's going on here, Charlie? It's, it's possible. I don't, I feel like this person is not to be trusted, not because they're an evil person, but because they don't even know who they are. Okay. And you're still looking at them. It's kind of like, what's that song about like, um, glory days. You're still looking at them through the lens of who you thought they were at one time, or maybe they were that, you know, growing up in high school, they were like, Ooh, this is an amazing person. Ooh, this is whatever. But as they grow up, they're kind of still hanging on to that image. If this is a new person in your life, you could see them kind of through that lens of very high school, high school where like they're the cool kids or they're the, um, they're the popular ones or something like that. Maybe because of their social media, you could be seeing them that way or because of your social media, they're seeing you as kind of like this, this amazing person, but you're not, the point is here, you're not really getting to know who this person is. Okay. You've got to see through that clarity, King of Swords and the Two of Cups. I feel like this person is really emotional and hey, emotions are good. All emotions are information. All emotions are powerful, but there's something about them being very dysregulated and very drama, drama, drama. Okay. And you're like the balancing force. You're Capricorn. You're the balancing force here. You're the balancing force. Let me use this. By the next holiday. So whatever holiday you celebrate, the next holiday in the States is Memorial Day. Um, I'm going to go deeper into that in the extended. We're going to really go deep for you. This is absolutely, it's kind of like that was what you needed to hear about this person, that they're not who they are pretending to be, or you're allowing them to be. There's a big change and transformation coming. So we'll get deeper into that. Okay, Cap. All right. Link is below. Big transformation coming. See you over there. 
All right, I hope you enjoyed that video. If it was helpful to you, please consider liking this video and sharing it with anybody who might have a need for similar kind of information. And if you like this video, check out these videos.